Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is often considered the most feared attack helicopter in existence, and has maintained that title since its introduction in 1975. Known for its versatility and ability to carry a staggering amount of weaponry, the Apache can engage and destroy a wide range of targets on the battlefield and in the air. This makes it a crucial component of modern military operations. However, given the aircraft's age and the nature of its duties, maintaining these helicopters is almost as much of a battle as flying them. Just like fighter planes and other vehicles, military helicopters have a set maintenance schedule mandated by the United States military. This generally consists of preventative maintenance checks and scheduled maintenance. The former refers to routine inspections and tasks performed before, during, and after flights. The goal being to identify any potential issues before they become more significant problems. Scheduled maintenance is typically based on flight hours, operating cycles, or calendar time and includes tasks such as engine overhauls, replacing components, and structural inspections. In order to protect sensitive parts of the aircraft systems from exposure to dust and debris, maintenance is typically done within the confines of a hangar whenever possible. This also ensures that teams have the proper equipment to quickly deal with any problems they might encounter. Once maintenance is complete, the Apache will typically undergo a test flight to ensure all repaired or replaced systems operate as they should. Because the Apache became active in 1975, many of the aircraft still in service are between 35 and 50 years old. Over its operational lifespan, the Apache has undergone several component upgrades to enhance its capabilities and keep it relevant on the modern battlefield. Examples of major upgrades include the addition of the Apache Guardian platform, which contained a variety of improvements to the aircraft's avionics, communications, sensors, and weapon systems. The U.S. military has also installed the AN-APG-78 Longbow Fire Control Radar, which enables target detection, tracking, and engagement in adverse weather conditions improved engines, and a modernized target acquisition designation site pilot night vision sensor. As the military plans to keep the Apache flying for the foreseeable future, these upgrades will likely not be the last.
The Apache is 58 feet long with its rotors fully extended and measures nearly 13 feet high, making them larger than most other military helicopters except those used for transport. Though they are designed with wheels, they cannot actually taxi. Instead, they must be towed to and from the maintenance hangar to the tarmac. This is actually common for helicopters, as adding a separate engine for forward movement on the ground would be a waste of space and precious aircraft tonnage. Whenever an Apache must be transported, Crews will typically fold the rotors so that they are in line with the fuselage. This allows for easier storage on boats or cargo planes. For decades, Companies like Boeing have been designing military aircraft with unique storage capabilities that go far beyond what the Apache is capable of. A great example is the MV-22 Osprey, which the company developed in collaboration with Bell Helicopter. The MV-22 Osprey is a unique military aircraft known as tilt rotor, which means that its two massive rotors actually move from a vertical to a horizontal position during flight. This gives it the ability to take off, land, and hover like a helicopter while also flying at higher speeds and altitudes like an airplane. Fully deployed, the Osprey is 57 feet long and 84 feet wide. However, because of its ability to fold into itself, the aircraft can be reduced to just 18 feet wide, allowing for much more accessible storage. This is especially important since the MV-22 is typically deployed aboard military ships. Though the Osprey program has proven a big success and led to the development of new tilt rotor aircraft, the MV-22 has earned a reputation for being very maintenance intensive. This has a lot to do with the Osprey's unique design and the many moving parts that go into making it such a versatile aircraft. Of course, the aircraft's unique tilt rotor design also means that maintenance personnel require specialized training and equipment. Again, all military aircraft are subject to regularly scheduled maintenance depending on the number of flight hours they accrue. But MV-22 technicians typically take advantage of any opportunity to ensure the aircraft systems are working properly. Like the Apache, the Osprey has undergone numerous upgrades and improvements to enhance its safety, reliability, and performance. As of 2023, 
the aircraft is still in service and will likely undergo several more upgrades before it's retired. This Osprey is undergoing a total rotor replacement. At 38 feet in diameter, the Osprey boasts some of the largest rotors of any forward flying aircraft. This is because they also need to be large enough to generate the lift necessary for vertical takeoffs and landings. Powering the massive rotors are two Rolls-Royce T406 AD400 turboprop engines, capable of putting out more than 6,000 horsepower each. Each rotor is estimated to weigh several thousand pounds, so heavy lifting equipment like cranes is necessary to perform the replacement. Relying on mechanical assistance also helps ensure that none of the sensitive engine parts are damaged in the process. Though helicopters have been part of the military almost since their invention, there is also a massive market for civilian helicopters and therefore civilian helicopter maintenance. These aircraft come in various types and sizes and are used for a wide range of applications as well. Though civilian helicopters do not typically cost nearly as much as their military counterparts, they are still extremely expensive and have thousands of moving parts. In order to prepare new maintenance technicians to work on the real things, companies like Pennant International Group have started converting old helicopters into what they call maintenance trainers. In fact, one of the primary items produced by Pennant is the BHMT, which stands for Basic Helicopter Maintenance Trainer. The BHMT perfectly simulates the various components and structures of a helicopter, often including features such as avionics, hydraulics, electrical systems, rotor systems, landing gear, and more. Overall, it provides a controlled environment for trainees to learn and practice the skills required to keep helicopters operational and safe. Though helicopters have been around for nearly a century, there are still hundreds of companies around the world looking for ways to improve on the concept. For instance, one military contractor, DEVCOM, is working on eliminating the vibration that all helicopters encounter due to the nature of their operation. This vibration not only causes problems for the occupants, but is also a big reason for component wear and tear. Thanks to huge leaps in technology, DEVCOM may soon be able to completely eliminate this vibration, ushering in a whole new era for these vehicles. Meanwhile, Bell is working on a tilt rotor aircraft that could eventually replace the MV-22. Not only is it a huge leap forward in technology, but it also has the potential to become the fastest tilt rotor aircraft in the world. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.